What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing out there today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank y'all for joining us. Welcome, 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 welcome. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Man, welcome to another episode of This is KC Sports. I am your man, Bishop. How y'all doing out there today, man? I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that y'all are here with me. Uh, Everything today is one of those Mondays where it just goes well. Everything goes well. Nice day outside out here in Kansas City. Beautiful sunny day. The sun finally decided to show up. That's what's up, man. Yeah. And uh, like I said, the temperature is just nice. It's starting starting to swing into that spring feeling you know what i'm saying and today is a good day you know after all the gloomy days we've had which i'm a fan of i know a lot of people don't like it but i'm a fan of the gloomy days the overcast type days but i'm happy for today also because i get to be here with all of my listeners and everyone who tunes into the show so that makes me happy also give yourself a round of applause Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I was said, today, today is a good day to go to the car wash. Get all the dirt and film and dust from all the rock salt uh, that was used to, uh, you know, get rid of all the snow and ice. Get that stuff off your car, man. Um, see, yeah. Today's the day to do it. We got another good episode today. It's Monday. New episode. New month. We are already at February 5th. Before you know it, February will be over. And we'll be talking baseball. I know, right? It's it's crazy. It makes no sense. I, I swear it feels like NFL just started a couple of weeks ago. Like, seriously. And here it is. We're already at the end of the NFL season. It's crazy, man. Y'all know what's up. Couple, what, few days from today? Sunday, 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 February 11th. That is the right day, right? I'll mess around. I'll mess around and miss the Super Bowl, man, because I. (laughs) February 11th. That's correct. February 11th, man. We'll, uh. We'll get to see two great teams face off in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 58, I believe. You know, uh, for those out there, LV, I, 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 three eyes, three eyes, right? I'm not, a, I'm not a Roman numeral type person. So, but yeah, we get to see two great teams face off. We saw them face off before. Y'all know the Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers, right? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. My Chiefs and somebody's San Francisco 49ers will be facing off. Yeah. Uh, it's already, you know, looking real good out there in Vegas from what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, that that giant ass spear that they got out there. I see the Chiefs helmet. I see they made it the Chiefs helmet. They made it San Francisco helmet, uh, which was dope. That's dope. Uh, I think they have Mahomes out there with the Adidas throwing the ball. Looked like he was throwing the ball to himself, which is that stuff was dope, man. That's dope. What's up, everybody? Let's check out the iSports radio chat line. Let's see here. We got Taryn Rodriguez in the building. What's up, Taryn? We got Jim B. Ralph joined the show. That's what's up. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? Hey, can y'all believe? Can y'all believe that the NFL season is has come and go? We're getting ready to start talking baseball now and and soccer. Already, I I I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. Do, are are do y'all do y'all partake in a little uh, baseball? 
<laughs> let's go, Ralph. Let's go. They said, Chiefs. <laughs> Man, I, this is this is about to be crazy. Mahomes is looking to solidify himself, you know, in a in a on onto a list with a with a bunch of elite QBs. Man, you know, hopefully he can go ahead and and wrap things up and and push through the finish and and get his third Super Bowl in six years. That 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 is that's crazy. That's crazy. That that's gonna be crazy. I can't wait to see. I can I cannot wait to see. I can't wait to see it. Um, hopefully it goes our way. I'm starting to see on 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 X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I like saying that. Um, I'm starting to see some complaints coming from the other side, from the from the Niners side. I guess they're not too too thrilled about the uh, the field that they're having to practice on. Uh, I guess I guess the field isn't quite isn't quite good enough. Uh, something that I, I guess they just put the side down or something like that. Um, which is kind of odd, but I hope we don't have that 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 situation here as last year, where people was uh, complaining about uh, you know the field and all that stuff. Um, let's see here. Taryn Rodriguez on I Sports Chat says, from what he saw on X, formerly known as Twitter. Kansas City Chiefs is in the Super Bowl. Yeah, you saw that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about the uh Royal situation here in a second. Yep, 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 yep. You're gonna you're gonna see that. We're gonna talk about that because that's oh man, I I, uh, uh, I I don't even know what to say. I'm I'm excited. I'm pumped up about that as well. Uh what the Royals just did today. Um let's see here. Yeah, yeah, FIFA, baby. FIFA, man, I used to love, I know it's not the same, but I used to love, 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 love playing the FIFA games. Uh, I, I guess they're gone now. They're, they're not making another FIFA game, I guess. It's it's going to be called something else now. Uh, but, yeah, we used to love that. My, my, my two sons, uh, I can't say my youngest son anymore. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we used, to, we used to all sit around. And watch soccer. So yes, I, I do like uh a little bit of football uh or soccer. Uh so yeah, yes, we get to host the uh FIFA twenty twenty six quarterfinal. Yes, that's gonna be huge. Um Yep, two top ten college basketball teams, and of course the beautiful Janelle Monet. Miss Monet. Uh 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 I love her out uh, her music. I love her music. She was up for album of the year. Yeah. And, and, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. In 24 hours. All of this stuff, man. And to, look here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to tell you something, okay? It is a great day, all right, to be a Chiefs, uh, no, 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 a Kansas City sports fan. It is a great day to be a Kansas Cityan, okay? Cause there's a lot of stuff has happened all within 24 hours. It's 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 crazy. All right, Kansas City went from you know just being Kansas City, like you know years and years and years. You know we were good with the Jazz, you know, and all that, and the you know Negro. We got the Negro League Museum and all that stuff. But Kansas City, after that, we kind of just was Kansas City. You know, no one really fool with Kansas City too much. And then next thing you know, you got all the stars and stuff just Kansas City is the place to be now and all of a sudden. And I'm happy for it, man. Give my, we're gonna give Kansas City a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. We're we're working our way up there to be one of the top cities, ladies and gentlemen. We're we're on our way. We got one of the best NFL teams. Did I say that right? We got one of the best teams in the NFL. There we go. That makes more sense. We only got one NFL team. 
we have one of the best teams in the NFL. We have arguably the best QB in the NFL at the moment. Um, and we have become Kansas City seem like we've become the new villains of the NFL. Uh, period. Like people are starting to starting to dislike us. It feels great. <laughs> it feels great, man. So yeah. So let's talk about what the Royals did today. Uh, as far as I know, it was today it could have been yesterday, but I just saw it today on X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, yeah, that, that there's a certain someone who was a very standout athlete for my Kansas City Royals last season. Okay, and honestly, he's just been he's just been last season, this season. I'm sorry, last season, season before that, he's been what the Royals have, I ain't going to say been missing. Well, yeah, since since we had the great the great team, I don't know. I got to give us a name. So Dallas had the, you know, greatest show on turf. I got to come up with a name for that 2015 Royals team. Um, I don't know what they're going to. But since that team, Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt Jr. All right, that was probably loud. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm just excited, man, today. I'm I'm full of energy right now. I had me an old man nap before the show. <laughs> just, I am live right now, all right? You would have thought I had coffee, and I don't like coffee. Uh, coffee actually does the opposite for me. It makes me tired, which is weird. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm ate up. Uh Bobby Wood Jr. just signed the largest, the the largest contract in the Royals franchise history. My man is what twenty years old, and now he's hey Bobby, hey yo my man, you mind if I get a slice? Can can I get a can I can I get a dollar? Can I can I get a, a Lucy a, a single for a slice? I, I, your man starving over here, B. You know I'm just trying to get me a slice of pizza, man. Hey. Where my man Mikey Two Guns at? He understand what I'm saying, man. I'm just trying to get a trying to get a slice, just a dollar slice, man. Bobby Witt just locked in with the Royals for 11 years for 200, count it, 288. Yeah, I said hundred, all right, hundred, 288 million dollars for 11 years, man. What? Give it up for Bobby Witt. Bobby! 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 Man, I'll wash your car, Bobby. I will wash your... No, I'm just joking. But yeah, that's what's up. But but see, congratulations to Bobby Witt, man. That's, that's dope. Congratulations. It's nice to see that the Royals are treading in the right direction, which I knew that they would. And I and I think they knew that they had to in order to get this whole stadium situation under control here. Because you were losing us. I'm not going to lie. The Royals organization was losing. Y'all were losing us as fans because y- you wasn't breaking bread with, the, with these players. Y'all go out and y'all go get a player that's – y'all were doing what the Chiefs used to do. Y'all would go get a Warren Moon or something at the end of his career and think that everything is going to be copacetic. You would bring in all these big names towards the end of their career and knowing that they're not who they used to be. And that's exactly what the Royals were doing since we had that great team of 2015, you know, Ace and all them and and all that, and and and, and Moose and Kane, Lil Kane, you know what I'm saying? Um but I'm glad to see this because, and not to take nothing away from Bobby Witt signing, man, that is huge. Uh, I'm glad to see the Royals actually trying to figure this out because that's what I was hoping for. At the end of last season, I know we were getting our butts kicked, but at the end of last season, you could tell, like, the magic was there. The magic was there. 
okay? Towards the end of the last season, the magic was there. I actually started listening and watching the Royals play towards the end of last season because I was like, okay, I can't take no more of this. You know, we went out to games, you know, and watched them lose and get their butts kicked all over the place. And I, I'm like, man. So it, it's not that, uh oh, it's not that I'm not loyal or dedicated. It's just that I just couldn't take no more losing. Like it, it was hurting. It was starting to hurt to see a team that I love get knocked around like that. And I know we we're much better than that. This is the city of champions, baby. The city of champions. Okay. So, um, but like I said, towards the end of the season. The, the magic was starting to be created. They were starting to cook. They were starting. Somebody found the fire, you know, and that, that fire was Bobby Wood Jr. He, you know, he started, to, he started, to, he got the fire, and then everybody else started throwing the ingredients in there, man, and they started cooking. They started cooking. Y'all, y'all saw what happened last season towards the end. They started cooking, man, and I knew it. I said, you know what? The Royals got what they need right now. They just, they need, they need a few pieces. Even though we started cooking and the food was starting to become more than less. Or no, 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 no. It's becoming more tolerable. And it was tasting a little bit better. I said, yeah, they they got it. They own something. But it's missing something. If something's missing, I I can't track it down. I can't track it down. I don't know. It's an ingredient. I don't know. It's cumin. It's a cumin. It was a oregano. Something was missing. All right, there was some spices that was missing in that in that stuff, man, and some herbs and stuff. That they, what what the, what the, they didn't have all of the kernels seasonings, man. All of the the herbs and spices. They only had a few of them. You know, I don't, they, they didn't have the formula. They had they had some of the formula to the Krabby Patty, but they didn't have all of it. And so now, with this signing of Bobby Witt Jr., you locking him in, so you got your main ingredient. You got your star of the show, Bobby Witt Jr., for 11 years. The guy's only, like, 20 years old, man. Y'all got him until he's, he's technically here forever, okay? So you got him for 11 years. Which, thank you for serving me this, because okay, it's start, it start. This food is getting better and better now, okay. And then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. They even though they gave him this huge contract, he's still cheap for another three to four years. He still ain't gonna cost no money. Wait, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. So you now telling me that I got this main course with Bobby Witt? And over the next three to four years, I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta pay you full price. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta start going into my pocket, for real, for real. So you saying I can have this? I don't know. Y'all, y'all tell me some fancy dishes that cost a lot of money, cause I don't, I don't really eat like that. I can't afford to. I don't know, uh, lobster and steak, like the whatever the fanciest steak that you can get, and the fanciest lobster. So y'all mean to tell me I can get this, I can get this, and I can still have money for dessert, and my and and my wife she can get this also because we ain't paying what everybody else is paying for they for they main course. Sign me up, sign me up. We get the we getting the special tonight. Sign me up. So over the next three or four years. The Royals can still put together a winning team because Bobby Witt don't cost anything. So y'all now y'all still got money to play with. Man, that's gonna be dope, bro. That's that's this team is coming together. I'm excited as all out because their management and the owners are listening to the fans. We want to win. You guys want a damn stadium. We just want to win. We want another. Another World Series. That's what we want. All right, y'all, y'all. You want your stadium? Fine, but you better make sure we win first. 
Now it's going on the ballot. It should go on the ballot, uh, the April ballot or whatever it is, so we can vote on it. Thank God. No thanks to Frank White, but it's gonna be. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be for it. They just need to make the lingo clear, man. They you you got to make it a little bit clear, okay? Uh, because the wife, man, the wife and I, we were reading a little bit. Uh, she was asking me some questions, I guess, before they actually put it on the ballot, uh, on the voting ballot. Uh, I guess they were trying to take a survey, and they were using some words, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, that don't sound right. That sound like they want to, they're trying to get rid of it. That don't sound like they're trying to extend it. The uh, three-eighths of a cent sales tax uh, for repairs and all that crap or whatever it's supposed to be for. Um, and we wasn't even sure. We're like, wait, what? That don't sound right at all. So. You, just be make it plain in the famous look in the words of Mr. Malcolm X. Make it plain, all right. All that sneaky crap. Quit trying to sneak it past me, man. Just, just do. Talk to me like I'm talking to y'all. Hey, do you want to extend the sale three eight cent sales tax? Hell yes, I do. Thank you. What else does it come with? Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Well, let me decide if I want to pay, if I want to buy you a damn boat or put some Italian leather in your private jet. Let me decide that, okay? But don't don't try to sneak it past me, man. You know, I, and it was something else about, I thought it said something about a park. Maybe they were talking about the ballpark or something, but I thought it said something about parks or something. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, they just throwing everything in here, so... But yeah, congrats to Bobby Wood Jr. Congrats, uh, congrats to the Royals. I look forward to this season. I think we're gonna kick some butt, man. We're gonna kick some butt this season. They're gonna go get some more players, sign some more talent, extend some more talent, and it's gonna come along. I I see it happening. I see it happening. I think this by them locking in Bobby Wood, which honestly to me it kind of seems like a does it seem more like a Mahomes contract deal. You know, it's like they, it's like, yeah, we got our Mahomes with Bobby Witt Jr. Let's lock him in into a forever contract, and we don't have to pay him for, for real, for real, probably for like three or four years. I think, I think the f 2024, is, I think he's probably going to, what, like $2 million, I think is all he's going to hit for or something like that. It's, it's something, something, it's light, all right? It's light. It makes sense. I think this was the smart move. Um... I still don't know what's going to happen with Salvi. Hopefully he stays. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. Maybe they can get some 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 picks or something or get some some talent for him. I don't know. I feel like just leave it leave well enough alone. If Salvi wants to stay here, then let him stay here and just build up from here. I think we got what we need. We just need a few more pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been listening to me, Bishop, on This Is Casey Sports, and I really appreciate it. But it's time for us to take a quick break. We come back. We're going to talk uh, about Casey Kern and what they've done. It's it's almost time, ladies and gentlemen. It's almost time. It's spring is coming, man. We're about to have baseball. We're about to have uh, women's soccer. You know, the first, I think the first game at the brand new state, at the brand new uh, current stadium is, I forget what it's called. It's the Can Canada Pacific something, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I think the first game is March 16th. Can you believe that? A little over a month away. Mind blowing. Wow. I, I I don't know what to do with myself, right? I if you can see me, I'm literally not knowing what to do with my freaking hands right now, okay? I don't know. But appreciate it. Y'all stick around. We're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna talk a little bit about that when we get back. And then we're gonna give our thoughts on this Super Bowl that's supposed to happen February eleventh. Of course, my Chiefs is gonna win. Why not? Stick around. Hockey fans, I'm Adam Kernan. And I'm Zach Puplis. Together, we are the newest version of Hockey Talk on IE Sports Radio, The Neutral Zone. Zone, 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 zone. We love hockey, but we also know it's not everyone's first sport. So we want to make this show as much for new fans as for the diehards. Whether you can name all the Swedes on the 08 Red Wings Stanley Cup team, 
Or, if you can't tell if Varlamov is a goalie or the latest trendy vodka, we're here to help. With facts, figures, and outrageous fans, we bring you all the hard-hitting hockey news you can handle, while still keeping it fun and on the rails. Well, mostly. So tune in every week as we go around the hockey world from college to Canada, the minors and the majors, and everywhere in between. So bring your sellies. And your one-timers. Your wicked ristas. And be sure to protect your five-hole. Catch the Neutral Zone every week on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. We promise not to pick on the Arizona Coyotes every episode. Hey sports fans, are you in the market for Florida sports or just keeping up with the latest in the panhandle? Palm Tree Sports is a dedicated audio hub to all things sports in the Sunshine State. We cover current events, big news, heavily favored opinions all across the NFL, NBA, MLB, and so much more. So come check us out every Saturday evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a down south education on Florida sports and athletics. It's hosted by yours truly, Corey Pujols. And it's powered by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. What up, Boston sports fans? This is Mikey Two Guns here, your host of Our Bleepin' City, airing every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Please join me. We'll talk everything Boston sports, all the local teams, college teams. I'm even down to talk MMA, boxing, whatever you guys want. So join me every Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Chime in with your questions on the chat. Tweet the show. We'll even have Collins. I can't wait to hear from you guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. So once again, it's our bleeping city. I am your host, Mikey Two Guns. Every Wednesday night from 7 to 8 p.m. Right here on IE Sports Radio. Your direct feed for all that is sports. See you soon, people. see what the outcome is going to be for real for real um because there's been a lot of jaw jacking coming from that side uh i'm sh- i i don't know i follow a lot of chiefs fans on x formerly known as twitter um and i i haven't seen much you know trash talk from 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 the kingdom uh, as much as I've seen from the whatever the 49ers call themselves over there, I don't know what their their hashtag is. Not bang bang Niner gang or whatever it is. Um, I haven't, you know, I I saw a couple people say that uh, it it looks like you know, oh, only thing they remember from the last Super Bowl is the Chiefs did a lot of holding, which a lot of lineman holds. Okay, I don't know. 
why people are acting weird about that. Like a lot of a lot of offensive line personnel hold does holding. A lot of them jump off the snap a little too quick, which technically is a false start, but the you know, they don't call it. I I'm just ready to see it go down. San Francisco is running around here pretending to be um the underdogs. Uh I, I don't get it. They've been favored to win to go to the Super Bowl, I, I believe, since shit, damn near the beginning of the season, if I'm not I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's it's very odd and strange behavior that everybody wants to be faithful to the Bay. That's the Niners hashtag. I appreciate it, Terry Rodriguez. Faithful to the Bay. So yeah, it, it's very it's a very strange behavior that everybody wants to be the underdogs. I don't know. Last I look. The last I looked, the Chiefs were definitely not the favorites to win. Uh, hell, the Chiefs have been the favorite to win a postseason game since the postseason started. So, <laughs> unless something changed and, and I wasn't aware of it, bro, we're still uh, two and a half underdogs on FanDuel. So, I, I don't, I don't get what they're. I don't know. I don't know. Um, oh man, they got some nice little. They got some. They got a plus one fifty on here. Some plus money. Mahomes and Brock Purdy to combine uh, for fifty plus rushing yards. Plus one fifty out there. You know, get y'all some little change. Even better, they got a Chris Jones and Nick Bosa to both record. Technically one sack, say half a sack, but we know what that really means. You got that juice on there. Um, so to record a sack, two ninety plus two ninety. Got some nice stuff on here, man. Some nice stuff. I'm not even gonna say that because, mm mm, nah, we ain't gonna have that. No two rushing touchdowns. So. But yeah, Chiefs are still the the underdogs, man. And it's, like I said, it's very odd, very strange behavior for for the 49ers to sit there and say what they say. But anywho, looks like they're all having fun out there in Vegas. I wish I could be out there. Vegas is one of my favorite uh, places to visit uh, because it almost never shuts down. And they do the food. They do the most out there. Looks Looks fun. I'm a little jelly right now. Trust me, if I could have smacked a couple of these parlays that I had lined up <laughs> over the weekend, I would be on a flight right now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, looked like some things that was happening around the NFL. <laughs> uh, uh, Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury, uh, he backed out of that out of the uh, Raiders situation, smart man. They, It's crazy. It's crazy because when it was announced, that the Raiders was interested and in, he might be interested in the Raiders organization and everybody thought it was all done. I I I think he kind of said okay, didn't he? I, did he sign? I don't know. I just know that cuz for a minute I kept saying that yeah, he's hired as the I think what Raiders offensive coordinator or something. Um <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Why this is so hilarious to me, but he backed out. Larry B, what's wrong with your people over there, man? Uh, Raiders Nation for life, or whatever y'all y'all go by. What's wrong? What's wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> Why nobody interested? <laughs> he uh, oh Cliffy, he came. He, he said, "Nah, I'm good, man. I'm good." But I think it was a smart decision. I think it was a smart decision. I think he realized that hey, uh, Washington is in, in in need of a QB for real, for real. Uh, there's a potential that they could grab Caleb Williams. There's a huge potential because I'm if I'm Chicago, I'm riding with just Justin Fields. Yep, I know a lot of people seem to post. I'm not going to go get another damn quarterback just because he looked great in college, dude. 
I'm not doing that, man. Justin Fields has already been in the NFL. He see what it takes to win. He knows what's up. I Oh, is that what happened? Okay, yeah. So he he went to, Okay, okay. But I could have swore Taryn that he uh that he he I thought he took the job with the Raiders and then he was like, "Nah, I'm straight. I I'm good." He backed out. Cause now Raiders Nation is pissed. They they called them clowns. At first they were praising them and was like, "Yeah, it's on now." You know we got such and such because they knew they knew where Kingsbury come from. They know you know he's he was you know he he's worked with Mahomes. He's worked with Kyler Murray. You know he he has a pretty decent record. And then he was just with Caleb Williams. So um, they see what's up, and I think <laughs> they were they were happy. When I saw that the Raiders Nation was like, "Yeah, yeah, we're going to take it this year." Now we're getting the right pieces in place. AP is out here getting the right guys for the job. <laughs> and, then, and now they are hot because he went on ahead and took the job with Washington. I think it's a smart move for him because, like I said, Washington is desperate need of a QB. They. They could actually send some picks over there to Chicago and draft Caleb Williams first round if they want to. Chicago would be dead ass stupid to go draft Caleb Williams first round. I mean, and even if they don't want to, you know what? You know what? Uh, to keep it a buck, um, if 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 why if Chicago wants to draft Caleb Williams first round, uh, number one overall, and and take a couple picks for Justin Fields. And Washington end up with Justin Fields, that'd be great because I mean you got uh, Scary Terry over there in Washington. They got a few pieces over there that they can use. They need some some linemen. You know they got rid of a couple people that they should have kept. I I thought it was a bad idea that they got rid of uh, except for Chase Young. Is that is that where he came from? He came from Washington, right? That that was a good idea. I don't know what's wrong with that kid. Uh but but uh yeah. So it could go either way. It could go either way. I think Caleb Williams would prefer to be with Cliff Kingsbury. It will make sense. I mean, everybody's already dubbing him the second coming, the Mahomes two point or whatever, I guess, or whatever y'all wanna call it. And Cliff Kingsbury got that's that's his thing. He for some reason, he always ends up with quarterbacks like that try to play like Mahomes. Huh? I just thought about that because Kyler Murray is a is a very mobile quarterback who can who can throw somewhat, you know, kind of crazy, got crazy throws. But anyway, not to go off into all that. Uh, so <laughs> I just thought it was funny. They're on uh, Raider Nation is on Facebook calling uh, Cliff a, a clown now, and they put a clown face on him, which. I thought was the Raiders logo anyway. I, I I have it on my phone. It it he has a the Raiders Nation logo or Raiders face. He has a red nose and he has a clown mouth. So I thought that was their mascot. <laughs> so it's crazy that they put the clown stuff on him. I think he I think Cliff said he don't want to be a clown and was like, I'm going to Washington. But I'm pissed off at Washington also. Y'all not about to get out of here unscathed. I'm pissed off because y'all just dissed my man EB. EB should have been somebody's head coach. It's so funny that all of a sudden, as an offensive coordinator and stuff, you don't have to call plays to be a head coach. It's it's so weird how magically that that changed from the past few years to now. It's it's, it's, a, it's a it's a miracle. It's a mystery and a miracle all at the same time. Uh, but so yeah, so EB is technically out of a job, I guess, which. I didn't want them to stay there anyway. If they wasn't going to consider you for the head coach, then there's no point in you being there. And and that's real. Because there's no way I'm going to stay here and help you make your team better and somebody else that just comes in first year and they take all the damn credit. You got me messed up. They sleeping on Eric B. Enemy. I'm trying to tell you, man, y'all sleeping on the guy. So now here's the part that I, I ain't worried. I don't think he'll do it. But here's the part where I'm a little bit like, nah, I don't like it. The Raiders is sniffing the Eric Bieniemy bush around the Eric Bieniemy bush. Let me get that correct. 
around. They're sniffing around, and they're very much, very much interested in Eric B. Enemy. I don't like that. I don't like that. EB, if you're listening, come back home where you belong. Everybody's like, what is he going to do when he comes here? Because Matt Nagy is in the way. Matt Nagy can go be the goddamn quarterback coach or whatever he was doing. And EB can go ahead. You got bumping rights, my brother. All right? We are a united front over here in Chiefs Kingdom. We are a union. You have bumping rights, EB. Come and bump back into your damn previous position and wait for Big Red to say he's done so you can be the head coach here. Come on home, man. Come home. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, anyway, so it's, it's a bunch of stuff going on, a bunch of shaking and a bunch of moving going on in the NFL like we knew it was, like we knew it was going to happen, uh, at the, especially because some teams that, that made it to the postseason that lost, honestly, probably shouldn't have lost. Um, some of y'all deserve to lose, but, yeah, I don't know. Some teams, I don't know. That should have made it to the postseason, honestly. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to see what's going to happen for 2024. 2024 season, it's it's going to be a lot different. Everybody's goal isn't to get to the Super Bowl or get to the postseason. Everyone's goal is to beat Mahomes and the Chiefs now. That's the goal. And honestly, it's been like that for the past few years. Everyone go out and they build these super teams, and, that, and which is weird, but we'll talk about that in a second too. They build these super teams just to take down the Chiefs, Mahomes and the Chiefs. But my thing is, where the hell are y'all getting all this money at? Because we're sure the hell is broke. The Chiefs ain't got a lot to work with. I think they're going to come in 2024, what, slightly under or slightly above $24 million on the salary cap. Where the hell is everybody else getting this money? Where is everyone getting this money from to where you can have 11 top players, top 10 players on your team? How the hell? (laughs) Who's paying who and what are y'all paying them from? Because we need to know. We we need to know. We got some players that's up for some, that, that need some big bucks at the end of the season. And we need to know what's up. So we can, I thought Veach was a mathematician, a wizard, a magician. I don't know. I thought him and his crew knew how to move them dollars around and make it work. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm ready for this. uh, I'm ready for the Super Bowl to get going, man. Uh, Casey Kern, like I said, man, they are getting ready. First game is March 16th. They went on ahead and they, they, they did some signing of their own. They, uh, they they went on ahead and they uh they they extended uh my girl my girl who be out there doing the twerking I believe uh Lo Labanta they they extended her uh, they got Mallory Weber they signed they signed Mallory Weber uh, Reagan I don't know how to say that last name is Stephanie Stephanie Braun. They, they're trying to get it together also. Last season wasn't doing too well for them. But this season, they said, you know what? We're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. We got a shiny new stadium. It's going down March 16th, baby. I can't wait. All right. We're going to take another quick break right here. We come right back. We're going to get ready to wrap things up. This has been fun. I'm amped up. I am one of those people who actually needs to go to the car wash. This is KC Sports with your man Bishop, live and direct on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Stick around. What's good, fight fans? It's your boy. Marcus Lowe's great here to give you what you want here to give you what you need yeah man 
I'm coming to you live, straight from your mama's basement with a crispy white tea. <laughs> we are coming to you live every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Powered by IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Sports fans, do you like teams that are tough, cities that are tougher, and fan bases that are passionate about their teams? How about teams that are historic and stadiums that are iconic? Then you belong in Chicago, and you need to check out Shy town Weekly. Join me, Adam Kernan, every week as we keep up with all things Chicago sports. Bears, Bulls, Blackhawks. Cubs, White Sox, we'll cover them all plus more. The Windy City is always buzzing, and we'll keep you up on all the big games and major stories. So tune in to Chi Town Weekly every week right here on IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Davidson. It's your boy, the entire lot. And we are the hosts of Fast Break here on IE Sports Radio, where we discuss everything in the world of basketball from prep to the pros. You guys should definitely check us out, man. Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We got all the basketball information you guys need. So we look forward to you guys listening in. And please do, because we are the best basketball show on this side of the Mississippi. And please do check us out on Twitter at Fastbreak ISR. D-Lock, where's our time again? 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. That give you guys plenty of time on a Sunday. Tune in.
You're listening to This Is KC Sports with Bishop. On IE Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Is that louder? Welcome back, everyone. This is KC Sports. I am your man, Bishop. Coming to you live on High Sports Radio, your direct feed for all that is sports. Man, I was um, doing the break here. I was sitting here going across, uh, you know, just checking X, formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it like that every time. I don't care. Um, and I don't know if any of y'all been on there, if any of y'all are on X, formerly known as Twitter. Per Adam Schefter, Le'Veon Bell is planning a return to the NFL for the 2024 season. Where the hell are you going to go play at? Uh, for the 2024 season, Le'Veon Bell says he's only interested in playing for one team. It's one team that he's only interested in coming back to play for. You all know who it is. Uh, I hope it ain't Pittsburgh because I don't think Pittsburgh is interested. <laughs> I mean, Pittsburgh Pittsburgh is getting it together with the two running backs that they have, man. Uh, yeah, I don't think so, bro. I'm going to have to go ahead and throw you a big fat. <laughs> I don't I don't believe this. This is wild, man. That's crazy. That's 2024 is gonna be fun. Alright. This NFL season is going to be fun. Y'all get ready. Strap on your seatbelts. Get your popcorn. Whatever it is, it's gonna be freaking awesome, dude. We are ready. I'm surprised Antonio Brown. <laughs> hey, they, he didn't page in the building, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, pagey girl? He, he didn't really. Um, he didn't really say who it is that he's coming back. Uh. He didn't say a team, okay? He didn't say a team. I don't think the Steelers is interested. That's like Antonio Brown saying he's, hey, I'm coming back in 2024, and I'm going to one team, and y'all know who it is, the Steelers. I don't think so. I don't think Steelers Nation will want you, the Steel Curtain will want you back. I don't think the terrible towels will want Le'Veon Bell back. Yeah, allegedly the Chiefs do a lot of things that people don't like <laughs> when they're no longer here. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't think they're – I mean, they, they're good. Steelers is good. Uh, a running back is definitely not something that they need. Sorry, but I hate to break it to you. Um, I mean, they still they're, – they're finally cutting through with uh, – with, um, uh, Najee Harris, uh, and then you got Jalen Warren, bro. Uh, yeah, who they really don't have to pay squat to. There's, nah, man, nope. This dude's on a three year contract for two, two mil. Um, and Najee Harris, like I said, they. He, I think he already he got a four year deal, bro, for thirteen. They ain't interested in you, uh, Le'Veon, my G. And I, I damn sure don't think you talking about the Chiefs because you wasn't happy here. I mean, you, you just unless he talking about the Jets. Maybe he talking about the Jets. Maybe that's the one team he's interested in. Was the Jets? I don't know if they gonna be willing to take you back, considering that you what you were not very productive with the Jets. <laughs> 
But it's interesting, man. It's interesting. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get uh ready to get the Super Bowl, get it on. Um I, man, this is the 49ers is complaining about field conditions. We we already covered that. Uh, but it's beautiful to see, and I'm sorry this is going to hurt you, Larry B. Uh, it's beautiful to see that, uh, you know, the the, the Raiders state, uh, stadium get the beautiful Chiefs logo on the field. It's, it's up, and they and they did it right. They 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 put down the gold with the Chiefs in red. That it's so it's so bright. You can see it. Oh, man, look at those Chiefs banners, man. And then the Chiefs, since we're the home team, we get to use y'all, uh, lock, the Raiders, you know, locker room. So you got Chiefs all on the wall, man. It's it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> I know the Raiders want to poke their eyes out, man. Go ahead. Knock yourselves out. Uh, but, yeah, it's... I can't wait to see what Pacheco can do. Hopefully, hopefully Pacheco can can do what he has to do up against the 49ers. Um, oh, oh, now now everybody in Cincinnati won't Eric be enemy. Ain't this? Some, yeah, I would love that, bro. Yeah, I would love that. I bet. Uh, I don't think he would go to Cincinnati, and I don't think he will sign with the Raiders. Sorry, I think he know he knows he knows what's up. It's just like the Cincinnati Bengals is talking about Chris Jones. For the last time, Bengals fans, let me tell you, Chris Jones does not like your team, okay? He will not sign with you guys. I don't give a damn. He doesn't like the Bengals, bro. Let it go. Let it go. Y'all can sit there and Photoshop that ugly ass uniform on them all, all day. It ain't gonna work, bro. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah. So it's been fun. Appreciate everyone out there, man. Um for real. Thanks for hanging out with us. I we might be taking a break here soon as we prepare for baseball season and the soccer season. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I know. I know. We'll see. This year, I want to bring a whole bunch of quality to you guys, man. Some good stuff. I'm going to try to get me a media pass so I can get back, you know, back behind the scenes and talk with some of the players and all that stuff, man, and do what everything we got to do to get you guys more inside detailed information. But I appreciate everyone out there. Paige. GMB, Ralph, my man Terran Rodriguez, Larry B, the whole IE Sports Radio family. Thank y'all so much, man, for just tuning in, hanging out with me today. I'm going to go outside here in a little bit and do something.